How's it going everybody? Wes Davis here. Welcome back to another video. I am once again down here at Pier 2, one of Kaohsiung's best places to come check out local artists and local art. So once again, I'm going to be joined by my good friends, Luke and Anna. Luke is from Tasmania, as you know, and Anna is from the Netherlands. So let's go knock on their door. I want to show them six or seven very, very local and special traditional Taiwanese foods. I know that they haven't tried them yet, so let's see what they think. Okay. I think their studio is around here somewhere. Oh. Hello. Hey guys, how's it going? Good, good. Did that open automatically? Oh, you're hiding back there. So we actually have a postcard on here. Some very small uh, photographs that we've been cutting out of different cool. elements from the city. So there's some food and people and objects. And hopefully we're going to add to this over the coming weeks and months for the final artwork. So you guys have the, the QR code for Instagram. Yeah, so everybody go over to their Instagram account, News From Home, you can see there. Give them a nice big follow. What is the plan for today? Today, I've got a list of five, six or seven very local, very traditional Taiwanese foods that I'm hoping maybe you haven't tried yet. Nothing too weird, don't worry. You guys ready to try some food? Yes. Yeah, we're really nice. excited. Cool. Nice, freshly rented scooter. And actually, it's pretty easy to rent these scooters in Taiwan as long as you have a license. So I hope it'll it'll do us well today. All right, how are you feeling? Yeah, considering we're not moving, very good. All good? <laughs> Okay, so we've come to the first stall here, and actually it took me about five years before I even tried this for the first time. This is fried mochi. It's made from rice, and basically they just, they cook rice, and then they pound it within an inch of its life. Okay, perfect. Until it turns into kind of a glutinous rice mixture. And then they take that, they fry it in oil, and then they coat it with, in this case, peanuts and black sesame. That one's the white rice with black sesame topping. Yeah, the outside's really crispy, I and mean, then the inside is like a big contrast. It's this, like you were saying, this really gooey texture, so it's like a really nice mix, actually. It's super delicious. The textures are really nice because it's and crispy and really soft. And I think we're big fans of this one. Big fan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely a strong start. Oh, I should have asked you if you guys had a peanut allergy before. Oh. <laughs> I think no. 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 We're in the clear. We're in we'll the clear. find out in a second anyway. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we drop down, you know. Yeah. And as you probably saw, this is a famous shop yeah. because anytime a celebrity will come, they'll take a picture and then they will slap that picture up on the side of the, the shop. Yeah, no, it filled us with confidence seeing many celebrities with their thumbs up. And <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, maybe there'll be a scoots. Yeah. Good there'll be a Wes Davies up there soon, maybe. Or maybe you guys. <laughs> uh, I don't think we're in the category yet, but uh, <laughs> we give it a thumbs up for sure. All right, let's go to the next one. So how do you guys find driving around the city? I know you guys are used to kind of walking a little bit more. Yeah, this pace is quite different. We're usually walking slowly, taking photos, and it's a different perspective in the middle of the road. Yeah, just you can explore actually uh, quicker, like diverse neighborhoods. So yeah, I think I would like a scooter. Is it scary at all? Mm, uh, not really. I have a really good driver. I also have a very good driver, so it feels very safe. You hear that, Evelyn? You're a good driver. Okay, so this one wasn't actually on the list that I made for you guys, but we're just driving through this market, and I think you gotta try Ayu. It's one of the most traditional Taiwanese kind of desserts that, that you could try. I have no idea what it looks like or what it is, so I'm very excited to see which of these stores we're stopping at. Okay. Ayu, I'm not even quite 100% sure how it works, but it's some kind of seed that comes from the forest, these tiny little seeds. Oh, okay. And then for some reason, when you mix it with water and you stir it around for a while, yeah. eventually it just becomes a jelly. Oh, it's actually a drink. Woman yao ibe ayu. Okay, how? So you can either get it in a bowl or because we took it to go, they just put it in a cup, like a drink. The jelly is nice. Hey, it's thick. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, I'm not, I've got Syrupy, a... Syrupy, right? I've got a big chunk here. Mm. Nice though, so it's super, super sweet, I would say. Yeah, this will, this will keep us going all night, I think. Super interesting now to know that this is coming from these little seeds, because yeah. we didn't know. Yeah, it's almost like a, a lemon jelly with blobs of maple syrup goo. Yeah, maple syrup. Oh, that is it. <laughs> That's so, a good yeah. reference. Yeah. I think you've summarized it well. But it, it's really uh, super refreshing, but I think... Um, 
You could probably put a bit of water in here and it'd still be beautiful. Yeah, because it's 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 really syrupy. Yeah. If you have more water in it, it will be also. Uh, it's really refreshing. Next, it was time to introduce them to Yen Suji, in Taiwan known affectionately as fried stuff. Yeah, no, we've seen these everywhere, but it, we find it a bit intimidating because the menu's very hectic. Yeah. There's a lot of food to choose from, and we weren't actually sure that they were cooking it on site. Yeah, we're curious what happens here. You choose what you want, and then they fry it back there in oil. So I've ordered four things, mushrooms, baby corn, and then chicken skin, and then chicken butt. Chicken butt? Chicken butt. Chicken butt. And what is wow. chicken butt? Well, chicken butt, it's actually, it's not actually the butt. Okay. Oh. I didn't know that was an option, but okay. <laughs> Tell me more. Now you know. <laughs> so, you know, at the back of the chicken, the thing that the feathers poke out of? That, yeah. Just the little oh, yeah. piece? Okay. It's that. I affectionately call this stuff fried stuff. Fried stuff. Can you say it's like a Taiwanese like snack bar? Definitely. Yeah? And most of the time, they're only open at night. I'm going to give you the baby oh. corn. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Whoa. Ooh. Okay, this is heavily spiced. Yeah. With some sort of special spice. It's like a pepper, but something different. White pepper. White yeah. pepper, okay. White pepper. Now this is good. This is yeah. super simple. Corn, yeah. bit of spice. You have good spices. Yeah, 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 I like this. Oh. Mushroom. Oh, it keeps coming. Oh, the mushrooms are really delicious. The mushroom is really good. Ooh. Super soft and then uh, crispy outside. Mm. Mushrooms are the winner so far, I would say. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. My yeah. first chicken butt. Have yeah. you? Maybe, you maybe my last? Yeah, why not? Yeah. Okay. Just, this is two butts, maybe. I got two butts. Yeah. Lucky. Okay. Mm. Oh, I never thought I'd say it, but chicken butts mm. are good. They yeah. taste, they taste good. I mean, it's 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 like chicken, but now I know it's a butt. It's kind of giving me other emotions. It's Is one enough for you? <laughs> so it's good they're using all parts of the chicken here. Oh. The skin, the butt. Crispy. It's oh. like a chip, right? Yeah, it's like like a chips. That feels unhealthy, but that is really, really delicious. Yeah, there's a lot of oil and fat in there, but that's that's uh, that's hitting hitting the right spots. So good because normally I would never like choose it because I don't know what it is or I think that oh, it's like so like chicken skin. But now I'm happy that I taste it. It's yeah, good. I now know these shops you can just grab stuff. Mm. You can just go in there, one of this, one of this, and then yeah. they would they will sort of know. To do yeah, the rest. We'll sort you out. Yeah, I feel mm. less intimidated now. So, uh, what are we uh, doing over here? Yeah, I'm curious is there where. A plan? I think there's a plan, and uh, but we, we don't know the plan. We don't know the plan. <laughs> there's no. a plan. There's a plan. Okay. The plan is actually right here. This one. Yeah. Yes. Okay. We're gonna get a couple things to go because after this we're gonna try gonna... stinky tofu. Oh. So we need to make sure we're stocked up on desserts first and then we can try the chodofu and then sweeten it up at the end. It's always fun for us to see these menus and we don't know really where to look so we're looking for an image. That's always helpful but often there's no images, we're just looking at the food and uh, pointing a lot. So this is dohua. It's basically silken tofu mm -hmm. and you can choose what kind of ingredients you want. So this one's got mung bean, red bean, uh, jelly and maybe peanuts. Is this dessert? Very, yeah, I think oh, so. That's a dessert. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Beans and dessert is. It's new. It's I totally think. new. Yeah. Okay, so we got the dohua, and the reason why we're not gonna eat it here, we're taking it to go, is because later we are going to have stinky tofu. There's been a lot of talk about the stinky tofu all night. This sort of build up. So, uh, yeah, it's making me a little nervous. I got to be honest, but um. Yeah, because we we smelled it before. But maybe we didn't have the courage to actually eat it. Yeah, so, no. Uh, this uh, this is the night. Let's yeah, go. Expectations are up here <laughs> yeah, for taste because I, something that smells that bad can yeah. it must taste amazing. What would you like? Do you want to try the the tomatoes, right? The, the, uh, this one. Yeah. Okay. So what we have here is cherry tomatoes, sort of. Yeah. I think it's a hard glaze, or is it soft? Oh, it's just like a lolly. Is it hard? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's like they can bite. How do you eat this? Like a lolly? Maybe just one bite. It. <laughs> 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 I was not expecting that to like absolutely explode. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh wow. 
<laughs> it's so different to what I thought. Mm -hmm. In Australia, we have like similar glaze, but with apple underneath. With apple, Whereas yeah. Tomato with to me is completely, completely new. Yeah, because we're not so used to eat tomatoes like in a sweet. So. No, absolutely yes. not. Wow, really good. I think if you didn't know you were eating a tomato, you would just think of some sort of fruit. Yeah. Like tomato is a fruit, I think. But it, it totally works, yeah. This is a surprise one for me. I thought yeah. this would be not my favorite, but this is uh, amazing. For me, tomato is uh, salad territory. And then mm. this is uh, well into dessert territory here, so uh, but it's totally working. It's the surprise packet of the night so far. The fun time is over. Oh. We're gonna go look for stinky tofu. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> the time, th this is the time. This is the time. Let's do it. Okay, we have arrived at the final destination. And I was gonna ask you, do you notice anything? No, there's a, there's a very strong smell here of stinky tofu. I think we, we arrived sort of on the corner over here and you were starting to get the smell and then we pulled up and got stronger. And so I'm curious if it's gonna get even stronger once we get inside. It's a bit like an old sock maybe after a sweaty day walking the streets of Kaohsiung. So I'm curious what this uh, stinky tofu shop is going to look like. Oh, it's like a... Uh, Street food oh. style situation. Oh, it's already prepared. Wow. Look at this. They knew we were coming. And there is some plastic on the on the plate. Oh, okay. So we don't have to do, do the dishes tonight. This is genius. Yeah. Was this typical to have the plastic over the yeah, plate? So they don't have to do the dishes. No, I think what's interesting is when you're far away you get sort of the bad smell. Yeah. And then the closer you get, it sort of gets a little bit sweeter yeah. and you got that bad smell as well. So it's actually, I think it's more rich and sweet close up. Mm. Not as bad, or maybe you just gradually get used to it. So I would recommend trying one piece with like a little bit of sauce on it and then put a little bit of the kimchi on top of the tofu. <laughs> I'm too nervous. Yeah? I'm nervous. Yeah, I'm also a bit nervous. All right, cheers. 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 Yeah. Let's go. I'm getting a lot of flavor from the sauce, the chili, the kimchi. I'm sort of curious which taste was from the tofu. I'm actually sad that I didn't try it earlier on. I really yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, been... No, that's really good. To be honest, though, the, the smell is now, I'm not really... No, I'm has not it really... Gone? Are we just used to it or...? Yeah, maybe. It's... We're now in it. The whole, whole... We're, in, we're living in the smell. <laughs> so, mm. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. That is good. That's um, a surprise, right? Yeah, it's, yeah. it's not like a, a smelly sock. Mm. Well, when I was smelling it at the market, I was like, oh, I don't know if I can eat this, but yeah. now it's just really good. Yeah. Um, it's almost like a crouton. Like yeah, it's like on top croutons. of salads. That's one of the reasons why I chose this one. I prefer when they're crunchier because okay. there's quite a range. Some of them are a lot softer, and then others are more crispy, like this one. But actually, the inside is quite. Soft and moist as well. Eight out of ten. I eight out of ten. Wow. Yeah, wow. yeah, I'm sort of sitting around eight out of ten as well. Yeah. Six. Maybe I'm super hungry, but no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I really like it. I would very happily try this again. Pleasantly surprised. Much better than I thought it would be. But just sort of different than I thought it would be. I thought the smell was coming from the wetness of this tofu and it was going to be really wet. But this is really, really sort of dry on the outside. I really had uh, high expectations after what you said about it. Um, but it is actually really amazing and I will definitely eat it again. And now we've got a couple more things. This is Pidan, oh. thousand-year-old egg with tofu. It's hard to know where to start, I would say. So yeah. is it the fermented, the egg? Again, it's fermented egg, oh, yeah. yes. Okay. okay. And there is actually a very specific way that the Taiwanese like to do this. Yeah, so what she's doing, she breaks up the egg first, oh. and later on, I believe, she will break up the tofu and then mix them all together. <laughs> It's because I was a bit distracted with the green color. The thousand the, year egg. Of the egg. Yeah. So I thought like, oh, it's it's gonna be like moldy or something. Mm. Yeah. Mm. But with the uh, with the texture of the silky tofu and the um, spring onions, I think it's on top. So it's like really fresh and really light and really 
not like moldy or anything so and it's a bit of jelly it's 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 a lot of everything but it's a bit of a flavor explosion and i yeah i actually like it i i like it mm. oh yeah definitely egg yeah it's like a soft boiled egg but then the tofu is really nice as well yeah again i'm a bit thrown because of the color of the egg it's kind of getting to me but if i don't look at it i'm like yeah it's just a nice tasting egg yeah. with some tofu and then other flavors Beautiful. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah oh. put it on top. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Eat them together? Yeah, Taiwanese are going to lose their minds. Let's go. Now we're talking. Genuinely, really, really good. It's like an egg on toast with, then, egg on toast. with extra flavors in there that ah, I'm not expecting. Highly recommend this. Are you the first person to ever add stinky tofu and pidan together? I would think not, and I hope not, because it's <laughs> delicious. So um, please do try it. Do hua. Do hua. Right, I'm trying to get a little bit of everything. I think there's at least five different beans and nuts and things. Again, it's another surprise. It's really refreshing, actually. Strangely refreshing. It looks sort of heavy, like a soup. Yeah, it's really refreshing sort of dessert. I'm going to dig into the bottom. Oh, there we go. Mm. Yeah, I find it really refreshing. What do you think? There's um, a sweet kind of syrup in there, which I really like. I think the take-home lesson from today is looks can be deceiving, yeah. smells can be deceiving. It's best just to trust, trust the locals and uh, try it because it's been really surprising all night. I learned a lot from all the things uh, we've tried tonight. It's delicious. Yeah. Yeah. Big sweet tooth over here, and I usually wouldn't sort of think peanuts and red beans floating in a syrup saucy thing would be what I'm into, but I, I like it. And tofu, because this is again like a tofu. Mm. So tofu is so versatile as well. Like it's yeah, and with sweets, and it can be stinky. It can be crispy. It can be silky. Yeah, the great all rounder tofu, yeah. very versatile. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for joining me once again today. And I really appreciate you guys being so Thank open, you. open to new adventures and especially open to new foods, maybe stuff that you guys weren't used to yet or especially haven't tried in Taiwan. So thanks a lot. And yeah, it's always fun hanging out with you guys. Thanks. Thank you. Bye-bye. It's a wrap. Is that a wrap? And a cut.